everybody. My name is Darlene and I have Parkinson's. I'm going to today, first, oh, first of all, I'm going to tell you, it is a beautiful day outside. Oh, I don't need this light on here. It was a beautiful day outside today. It's quite chilly, but it's uh, above zero, so it's just a little bit of wind that makes it chilly. But Claudine and I just went out for a little toodle and it was really nice out there. Nice to get a little bit of fresh air. So I did that. Um, today, the subject is going to be something I've touched on in the past, but I've, I've got different things to say about it. It's, do I have to make adjustments in my clothing for having Parkinson's? Like some things, if you are in a wheelchair, you have to make certain adaptions or different things like that. So what, what do I have to do with my clothing? Um, there's quite a few things that I actually have to do, and they're changing all the time. But um, I told you about the great shoe and slipper debacle. I have never been able to find slippers or shoes that work wonderfully well for me. Crocs are about the best as far as walking. I've got some Skechers that I can put on for a nicer shoe. But when I put a shoe on my foot or a slipper that's a hard bottom bottom slipper, I cannot feel the floor. So when I can't feel the floor, I have a real problem with walking. So yes, I do realize that I have to wear shoes and slippers. My feet are getting problems because of not having slippers sometimes. So I've got a few things. I have the socks that have the little um, dots on the bottom to make them non-slip. They work pretty good if they stay on my feet, but because of the amount of wiggling I do, if I put my feet up on this chair and I start to wiggle, next thing I know, I've wiggled my socks right off my feet. So then, I'll show you right here. I have, I'm gonna lift my leg up here, okay? See, do you see my leg? Okay, I have my sock here, and this thing here, that is a piece of an elastic bandage that, is a circle that I just cut like a cuff out and I put that over top of my sock like that and it holds the sock on my foot. That's one thing I can do. But if I wear it all day, then it starts to bother me. That's one thing I do. Um, sometimes I wear the Crocs that have the fur on the inside. That works if they have a back strap. If they don't have a back strap and they just have the fur, then they won't stay on my feet. So the shoes and socks are a big issue for me. I have, I have spent so much money. I can't even tell you how much money I have spent trying different socks and different shoes. I can't even explain it. But anyway, I just do my best with that. I find it way more convenient to wear a dress than to wear slacks. I like wearing slacks and... I like wearing shorts in the summer. So I'm really hoping this summer to find some shorts or capris that will be comfortable. But I find that when my meds are not working, I have trouble when I go to the washroom to have to deal with taking underwear down and outside pants and bringing them both up when my body's not working. It sounds ridiculous. I'm well aware it sounds ridiculous. But when your body's not working, you just can't do those things. Whereas if you've got a dress on, you're only dealing with taking one item down and pulling one item up. So I do wear a lot of dresses, but I am going to try and get some in the pants situation. And I think that those are the things that, oh, brassiers. Oh, for heaven's sakes, I had the awfulest time. I can't bring my hands around the back to do them up. I can't do them up and then turn them around. I, I just can't get it done. So then I thought, well, I know, I'll get those kind that are sports bras and you slip over your head. Well, I, I got them, but so many of them barely fit. Like I was so large that the, my back was very broad and I just, I couldn't get them that were working. So I was having to kind of push the girls in and keep them in and I, I resorted to a little camisole for a couple of times and but I hated it. Like, I wanted to have proper brassiere. Well, I've lost the weight now. And now I can tell you those bras that I could barely get on, 
my boobs don't hold them up anymore because they have no boobs at all. I, like they're, they've gone south on vacation. I'm getting bruises on my knees from where they're hitting. It's, <laughs> it's crazy. So yeah, I, I have a bit of a problem with getting the brassieres, but now I can find the, the ones that pull over my head that will fit me and will be good. Claudine got me a couple of dresses from a friend of hers um, that were size 2X. Um, all these ones that aren't fitting me, they're fives and sixes, five and six X. Um, the shirts that I got from um, Penguin and the Chef, they fit me beautifully. They were a three X and they fit me beautifully. Um, but the two X dresses that Claudine got from her friend to bring to me, I really like them, but I feel that they're a little bit tight still. Now one is exactly like this with this black shift, but it's shorter. And one of them is sort of black and white, but it's got kind of um, a pattern on it. And then the sides of it go down long. They've got pointy, two long pointy sides, and then it goes shorter in the middle. Um, I feel like like it's a bit too tight on me, Like, but I'm not used to wearing fitted clothes. So Claudine said she'll come over one day and she'll look at them and decide, is it just me not feeling comfortable because I'm used to wearing baggy stuff? Or are they actually still too small? So I said, I'll leave them in my closet. Could be that I'm not quite re ready to wear them yet. But I think that come spring, I'm going to have to buy some clothes that fit me. That's all there is to it. I'm going to have to buy clothes that fit me. And uh, so we'll see what happens with the weight, if it keeps going down or what. But if it does, then... I'll have to get a new wardrobe. <laughs> that's, that's all there is to it. I'm sure that there's plenty of people who are my size that will be able to use the clothes that I have. Now, the other thing is, um, you have to be careful when you're on a scooter. You have to know that you're not going to have a dress that's so flowy that it's going to get caught up in the wheels or the gears or any of that stuff. So, and you want to make sure that you're dressing warm enough and, you know, all those things. So, yes, there is things that I have to do, but I've got most of them handled other than the, the footwear. Then I had a little story that I was going to tell. It is the most ridiculous story to tell, but I'm going to tell it anyway. The We always had turkey on turkey day. We call it turkey day, Easter, Thanksgiving Christmas, those are turkey days. Those are the days that they're special and you have turkey. Well, one time the kids were little and they wanted hamburger helper. And I said, no, well, we've got turkey day coming up. And they said, well, who said you have to have turkey? And I said, well, nobody says you have to have turkey, but, you know, that's a big holiday. You know, people like to have their turkeys. Well, can't we have what we want? And I said, if you take a vote and the two of you both want the hamburger helper... I'll make you hamburger helper, I said, but uh, you don't, don't say you want turkey then after. No, no, that the, we would never do that. We want hamburger helper. So that's fine. The day is coming up. Cal, he's in grade two or so. And he comes home from school on the Friday. And he's got this little uh, hand print turkey. Like you put your hand down and you draw around it. And then they put the feathers on and it makes a turkey. This little art project. And he comes home and he says, Mom, look at my turkey. I said, isn't that fantastic? You've, you've done a great job there. And he said, do you know why? And I said, well, I would imagine it's because it's Thanksgiving. And he says, no, Mom, it's turkey day. And I said, well, yes, for most people it's turkey day. But remember, you guys are having hamburger helper. Oh, no, no, we can't have hamburger helper. It's on turkey day, Mom. We have to have turkey. I said, oh my God, look, this is, tomorrow is the day. So I said to Bill, I don't have time to go and get a, a, a frozen turkey and have it thawed out. I said, go up to the store and see if you can find a nice big chicken. If you can get a, a big chicken that's thawed out, we will cook that instead of the turkey. So he did. He went and got a big chicken and came home. And yes, we had a, a chicken turkey that year, but... The part of this story that just uh, throws me for a complete flip is the price of that chicken. Bill went in. I could have bought a whole turkey at, at 79 cents a pound. I could have bought a whole turkey, huge turkey, for $20. Huge. 
Yeah, he paid $22 for this little chicken that I could roast, which had no leftovers, didn't have enough stuffing. <laughs> I said, never again will I tell my kids they can have hamburger helper if they wanted. I said, turkey day is turkey day, and we're having turkey. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was so funny. Anyway, that's my story for today. And um, I think I should just leave it at that point. I've got my supper tonight in the slow pot. Speaking of chicken, we're having chicken with stuffing and gravy and potatoes and carrots all done in the slow cooker. And uh, that's going to be our day for today. I, I changed, oh, I should tell you, I changed all this area around here. This is, it looks kind of junky, but it's not. See how we've got all these things down here? Everything is within hand reach for me so that I can reach my cookbooks, I can reach my medicine, I can reach my writing pad. I've got my, over on this side here, I've got my uh, scissors. Oh, sorry, you can't see that. I've got, see, I've got my, my counting the jug for my water, and then come over here, there's a, a, a thermos jug for if I want something hot or cold that stays cold. My scissors are right there, and I've got my crocheting, in my Baxter's of Speyside Scottish bag. So I'm set to do everything that I want to do right from here. So that's it. I'm going to see you all tomorrow.